it has the largest uh, Indian population in the Greater Toronto area. So a lot of my neighbors um, where we live uh, are originally from, from India, a lot from um, Punjab. And so every time I had a chance to talk about them, they said, you must see my beautiful country. <laughs> and we'd love for you to come and see it. And so I'm so excited that when I go back, I can tell them that I saw this beautiful country. And <laughs> some beautiful people and um, uh, Professor uh, Dr. Kennedy was asking me, was there any surprises that you've come to this country, anything? And I said quite the opposite. Um, you know, it's been pleasant surprises and as I've been able to see, we've been going around to different colleges and universities and different meetings and uh, the more that I see, the more that I'm impressed with what's going on in this, uh, in this region but in this country. And I see tremendous potential. And that's really what I want to talk about today. I see tremendous potential. And uh, it's amazing that, you know, somebody can do something really well one time. But really greatness is the ability for someone to do something well multiple times. I would go even a little bit further. It's greatness is defined with something that can be done that would transcend a lifetime or a generation. To me, that's greatness that we can actually have men and women in this place, young men and young women that would have the ability to have vision. And vision, uh, sight sees what is, vision sees what can become. And so I really believe in this class, and that's why I consider it a privilege and an opportunity to be here, that we have people that will be inspired to have vision, to see the possibilities, and then inspire others to see the opportunities. And so it's exciting that we're not just in another classroom, but in here I really believe that there's some great leaders that will come out of here. And great leaders have the ability to see beyond perhaps what everybody else sees, but see what can become. And so as I've had various conversations with various leaders, whether it be business leaders, academic leaders, um, social leaders, government leaders, there seems to be a common denominator that exists, and that is there seems to be a movement that where people are trying to do what's best for the country, not just for today, but for tomorrow. And so it's exciting for me to share a little bit about the City of Toronto, because in the City of Toronto, we're going through a transformation. The City of Toronto is the uh, largest city in Canada, the fourth largest in North America. And that's really important to note, because right now, six um, statistics state um, by 2030, six out of 10 people will live in a city, in an urban center. And by the year 2050, 7 out of 10, that means 70% of the world's population is going to live in a city. Why is this important? Because how we develop cities, what this city looks like, what the future of cities looks like, will affect countries and will affect generations. And so when we look, the cities are an opportunity for information exchange, ideas, innovation, creativity, economic stimulation, cultural advancement, political agendas, whatever it might be. Cities is a place where a lot of great things happen. And so Toronto has been made a tremendous amount of effort to create a competitive city. In fact, as a competitive city, I, I'm not going to pretend. We, we would love for the best talent in this country to come to our city. So Toronto is competing for talent because we realize it's the young, bright minds that are going to help us dictate the future of our city. Toronto is a global, uh, a multicultural city, you'll find pretty well there's 140 languages that are spoken in Toronto, 240 plus cultures in Toronto. And so Toronto tries to remain very competitive. One of the key statistics you'll look there, we were ranked number one in the world as a youthful city. Youthful city means we create opportunities for youth, we inspire our youth to do things. We have youth entrepreneurs, we try to get them involved in civic engagement. We look for ways of stimulating young businesses and young leaders that are doing things for the business, we're doing things in the business community. And so we are committed to see youth advance in our city. You'll notice that we were recently the 2014 Global Intelligent, Intelligent Community Forum winner, which means that we are awarded that work, or we received that award for being one of the uh, leading smart cities in the world. All of that wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for some of these other things that we were doing. Empowering and engaging youth, building a resilient city, making it a competitive city, but also making sure that it's a place where we have opportunities for tech startups,